Hey, so this is uh, going to be a pretty quick video, but um, Rachel, here, I'm going to go back to Rachel's comment. Um, am I even going to be able to do it? Uh, no, I got to find where her comment was. Was it in? Fuck. Where was her comment? Oh, there it is. Video ranking all of your favorite bands. Okay. I can't really rank them or anything, so I just did the top ten of all of my favorite bands that I could think of. And this isn't even in really specific order or anything. This is just one of the bands that I could never live without and love so much. And a lot of these bands are kind of the reason that I listen to music that I listen to now. But, um, so this is my top ten. You know, you got Slipknot on there. They're the band that really helped me get into metal and shit that I listen to now. I love Motionless and White. Always I've been a fan of those guys since, like, 2013, 2014, since Reincarnate album came out. And just every album that they've put out since then has just gotten better and better and better. Like, The Skies was probably their best album. Scoring the End of the World is amazing, too. Um, I got Tice Nine Kills about 2018 or something like that when I, uh, after Silver Screen came out, my, my old roommate Tyler, he, we were driving around one time with this girl that I was going to date from school, and, uh, well, this was that, well, we, I went to school with her for a little bit and stuff, this was after we graduated, but, um, I was taking her home, and I told Tyler, I was like, can you play something that's not super heavy, and he played American Nightmare, <laughs> by fucking Ice Nine Kills, and I'm, I just started laughing, because I was like, I told you to play something that isn't super heavy, and he starts playing Ice Nine Kills. It's not like they're super brutal, but they're pretty heavy, especially the American American Nightmare is pretty heavy song. Um, but I love those guys. I love, the, you know, the shit that they've been making. Um, you know, their song for Terrifier they just put out is a banner. Their meet and greet's good. They're, they're a solid band. Um, Linkin Park is another band, you know, that helped get me into, like, rock music and metal music and everything. I'll never not love those guys. Sucks Chester's been gone for seven years. It's cool that they're technically back now. Emily is not the same as Chester, obviously, but it's cool they're going on. Uh, Suicide Silence, love those guys. Um, they're the first band that introduced me into the deathcore genre. Um... Remember the first time I ever got stoned. I don't smoke weed or anything anymore, but I remember the first time I got stoned. Um, my buddy, my old buddy John and K Four, they uh, played "You Only Live Once" by Suicide Silence, and me being stoned as fuck and not really liking that style of music, I wasn't really a fan of it. But they kind of played it around me like more and more and more, and I kind of just end up getting used to the song and kind of started, you know, liking it. And then I started, like, digging more into their music and stuff. And then that's kind of how I ended up finding out about, like, Whitechapel and Chelsea Grin. And then I also, my old friend Eric, my, an old Canadian buddy of mine, an old Xbox friend, don't talk to this guy anymore because he's a major alcoholic and he's turned to a bipolar piece of crap. This is an, obviously a video to talk shit on people and stuff. Just being honest, he's turned to a douchebag alcoholic. But he introduced me to, like, uh, they're not on this list, but, like, Whitechapel is obviously on there. But the ones not on the list is, like, Chelsea Grin and stuff. But, um, yeah, Whitechapel is another deathcore band I love. Can't Couldn't live without them. Um, love all their old school heavy shit and also love, like, the newer stuff, like the Can album and uh, the Valley with the clean vocals and stuff on there. Um, thought it was very different for them to do, but I thought it was pretty badass that they, uh, you know, introduced uh, clean vocals into their music and made it work. Um, number seven I got on here is Hollywood Undead. Got them tattooed on my arm. Um, they're another band that kind of helped me get into, like, uh, you know, like rap rock, rap metal and stuff like that, and just metal rock in general started listening to those guys when I was in like seventh or eighth grade and they were my second concert I went to and I've seen them about three times or so wait oh, I've seen those fuckers four times I think now god that's crazy yeah because I've seen them they were my first concert then I saw them a second time at open air 
yeah, I've seen them four times. It's just crazy. Um, I Prevail's great. Um, I've seen them twice. I actually, last time I just saw Hollywood Undead was when I saw I Prevail too. Um, they're, they're a great band. They're one of those bands, you know, they have some pretty heavy shit for, you know, metal fans. And they have some softer just rock songs that people that aren't really even into like rock or metal can vibe with. Then I had to put them on here, Three Days Grace. They're another band that kind of helped me, you know, get more into like rock music and that style of music and everything. And then they're not on this list, but a band that's very similar is Breaking Benjamin. I love those guys too. Um, you know, they're both very similar and stuff like that and making uh like almost kind of on the brink of like hard rock and like metal and stuff um but three days grace is an amazing band i'm really glad that I, adam is back in the band and very excited to see them with on that tour with disturbed um in march and then the last band i got on here is avenge sevenfold another their band that really helped me get into like harder rock and metal and everything Especially when I discovered their older albums like Waking the Fall and Son the Seventh Trumpet. Those were like two of the first uh, metalcore albums that I like really got into and dug. And, and then after that I started listening to like older Bullet for My Valentine and Kill Switch Engage and stuff like that. Trivium a little bit too. And yeah, but those are just like my top. 10 favorite bands I could think of off the top of mind. There's a lot of other bands I listen to. Like, bringing up, like, Chelsea Green earlier. I love, uh, Rings of Saturn. I like Periphery, Veil of Maya, Devil Oof. Um, you know, I was just talking about them. I love Disturbed. Uh, I love Lorna Ashore. Um, not much of a new, of their newer stuff, but I love, like, Asking Alexandria. Um, so much shit, I'll just, uh, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but I'll just click on my metal playlist on here, and, uh, kind of just s skim through some bands and stuff in here, you know, there's Suicide, Devil Wears Prada, Whitechapel, Faulia, Metallica, Algon, Obituary, Virgil's Rings of Saturn, Mastodon, Asking More, As I Lay Dying, fuck those guys now, After the Burial, As I Prevail, August Burns Red, uh, Bear Tooth, Mirror, Born of Osiris, Oceano, Bring Me the Horizon. How did I not put Bring Me the Horizon on there? Bring Me is always going to be one of my favorite bands. Uh, Cannibal Grandpa, Bell of Maya, Shadow of Intent. Um, here, I'll even scroll farther down. Throne, some newer shit. Poppy, Sinestia, those guys are sick. Sun Eater, Osaya, Waste. Seen Waste a couple times here in my hometown. Ami Amiona or Amiana or whatever, that's Alex Kohler's new band, Six uh, six Feet Under, <laughs> Pathology, I've kind of started getting into uh, some shit like that, Reminiscence is sick, those guys are dope, Kublai Khan, I just, I listen to a bunch of shit, but these bands right here, these 10 bands are kind of like my main ones.